guys welcome back or welcome if you are new right out the gate here I'm laughing at myself because I was trying to find my pocket on my apron and I couldn't find it um, yes this is a McDonald's apron my son used to work there and um, I had put it in um, like a bag that I had for things to go to Goodwill and then one day I was like you know what I'm gonna just keep that because I can use it um, I don't fry very often but it's you know it's a mess so when I do um, I definitely want to wear an apron but anyway um, welcome to my channel and if you are new my name is Michelle um, please like and subscribe and share these videos so that other people can see them and they can start getting out there um, so in this video what I'm doing is frying some rabbit and french fries very simple oh, I also fried liver chicken liver um, to go with the rabbit um, these were or this is rabbit that we raised um, and you know we breed them so that we have get more to eat and um, my husband had killed eight the other day and we um, put them in the freezer and I had took this one out while well, I was actually trying to get it out of the way in the freezer and the bag tour so I figured I better cook it before it went bad. So here we are. Rabbit is delicious cooked anyway, but my favorite is definitely chicken fried. Um, I just season it really well and then, you know, shake it around in some flour. I also season my flour um, and then drop it in the grease. It does not take long to cook. It cooks pretty quickly and um, well it's it just tastes so good um, there's my junior man so I was snacking on yes I hid them in my apron so that I didn't have to share do any other mamas do that I can't be the only one um, so I'm just flipping it over I do flip whenever I'm frying anything whether it be pork chops chicken rabbit um, I flip them often during the cooking process because you don't want one side to overcook um and well also i just i do it that way it cooks evenly basically but um i don't remember i think all in all this this night it took me about 45 minutes to cook supper so that was frying um I don't remember if I had two or three batches of rabbit and then um, I think two batches of the chicken liver and what ended up being two batches of homemade cut up um, french fries so that's really quick um, and normally while I'm cooking if you can see in the bottom left corner I have a YouTube video playing um, or I'll, uh, you know, talk to whoever's around, but um, they were being very loud in the house, so I just, I had my video on, but I really wasn't watching it, and, um, okay, so here I go with the second batch. I'm not sure, I don't remember if that was the last batch or not. Let's see if I put some more in the pot. Yep, there we go. Um... You know, when I cut it, I obviously ended up with two front legs, two back legs, um, the stomach, uh, which I had two, you know, each side. So two pieces of stomach, um, the back, which is like white meat. We cut that in half. So there was two pieces of that. And then um, the ribs, which there's hardly anything on the ribs, but there were also two, two ribs. So two sides. So, and I'll admit that even though I love to eat fried rabbit, I do not like cleaning it. So, my husband did the killing. That sounds terrible. But he killed them and skinned them and brought, and you know, took the insides out and everything. And then brought them to me like that. And then I had to 
rinse them, get them really good and clean, and then put them in Ziploc bags to freeze. And that part grosses me out, I will not lie. Um, I say this about all wild meat, um, you know, ducks, we love duck, goose, um, deer, but I, I always say I will cook it, but I will not clean it. Um, same thing with fish. I just, I'm the kind of person that if I have to touch it while it's nasty looking and smelling, then I'm not going to want to eat it. And, um, that was the case with this rabbit. Um, I had said it was going to be a while before I would cook any of it because I had to forget kind of, um, what it looked like and smelled like when I was bagging it up to freeze. But because this bag tore, I ended up having to cook it sooner than I normally would have. five and a half days of school left what about your kids um i they have awards on the 20th and so i don't think i'm gonna send them the last two and a half days because you know they don't do anything on those days anyway um i'm not sure if they take attendance or not but it's not like it will make a difference um so yeah i think they i think friday the 20th will be their their last day actually so here i am with the liver still working on fries and then um and if you notice i i have my oven on the warm setting and so as i take the food out of the grease 
I stick it in the oven to keep it warm because nobody wants to eat cold food, especially greasy fried food. Um, that's not that's not good. <laughs> so I keep salting my fries, putting them back in the oven. Um, about to take the uh, some more liver out, and then um, I'm not sure if that was the last batch or not. I'm moving the hot pot of grease from the stove. Um, <clears throat> and then once that completely cools, um, that one just cooked fries. So I will pour it back into the container and reuse it. The one that I cooked the meats in, once it is completely cooled, uh, I will have my 17 year old take that out to the ditch. Um, we live on a dead end street. And on our side, there is not a ditch, but across from us where there's an empty lot, uh, there is a, a little small ditch. And so that's where we pour our, um, you know, old grease, um, certain like meat, like leftovers, certain things. Um, I'll have him throw out there too, because we have, we have a lot of cats, so they enjoy the treat, but so i'm cooking some macaroni and cheese good old macaroni and cheese we didn't have any vegetables do your kids eat vegetables mine are very picky um my 17 year old son dj he will eat corn he will not eat green beans um he will not eat cabbage broccoli mustard greens asparagus brussels sprout he won't eat any of that um my 20 year old Haley, she will eat most things uh still nibbling on those junior mans i see um my 11 year old aubrey she is very very finicky um she doesn't really eat meat um the only meat Look, there's Haley stirring the liver. She can't wait to get into that liver. It was her idea to buy. Look, I think she was about to sneak her a piece. Um, anyway, Aubrey will not eat meat unless if it's a chicken nugget from McDonald's, which that's questionable if it's even really meat. Uh, uh, she will not eat um, macaroni and cheese rarely she will eat macaroni and cheese um, if I'm cooking spaghetti she wants her noodles plain with like maybe some butter on it or even like the sprinkle cheese the parmesan cheese look at this one in the pots nibble nibble <laughs> um, anyway she'll eat plain pastas um, rice if we're having rice and gravy she will eat rice with butter and some salt but no gravy uh, again no meat she doesn't eat any vegetables um, the girl lives off of carbs she will eat plain pasta plain rice bread tortilla shells um, she'll take um, bread or tortilla shells put some shredded cheese on it microwave it until it is melted and then eat that and she'll eat like three roll-ups like that with the tortilla shells or if she's doing sandwiches with bread she'll eat like two now she does like like grilled cheese um she'll eat pancakes and waffles and french toast and um you know i, I don't know she doesn't eat like she loves yogurt she will eat um cottage cheese so she does get some protein but and she likes peanut butter she does like fruit um but she's just a very very finicky child i don't know how she grows <laughs> but she does so here we have the plate fried rabbit liver french fries and macaroni and cheese okay guys that was it for that video we don't eat like that all the time but i thought it was a nice little treat to share with y'all Please like, subscribe, and share, and I look forward to seeing you in another brand new video. Bye-bye.